Let's cook up a bowl of noodles using Figma Draw. Create a 180 by 180 ellipse. Then hover your cursor over it and use the arc handle to change the sweep to 50%. Change its fill to any color you like. Next, add a 40 by 12 rectangle and position it at the bottom center of the ellipse. Right click on it and select Send to Back. Select the ellipse layer again and add an inner shadow effect. Use the settings to configure the shadow, then select the rectangle and use the eyedropper tool to change the fill to the same color. Group both layers and change the corner radius to two. Then add a texture effect. Be sure to enable clip to shape for all texture effects throughout this tutorial. Clip to shape keeps the texture inside the layer's edges. Great, let's whip up some noodles next. Add a 25 by 25 ellipse. Duplicate it and drag the new layer below the first so that their edges touch but don't overlap. Then duplicate it four more times. Select all six ellipses, press Shift X to invert their fill in stroke, then flatten them into a single layer. Press Enter to open vector edit mode. Starting with the top ellipse, delete the right vector point and work your way down, alternating between deleting the left and right points to create a wavy shape. Close vector edit mode. Change the layer's width to 14, then reopen vector edit mode and select the bend tool. Click on each of the center points to create a smoother connection. Then close vector edit mode again. Change the stroke weight to four, its fill to a golden yellow, and its endpoint style to round. Apply an inner shadow effect to highlight the noodle's curves. Then duplicate the layer. Change the new layer's weight to two and its fill to a darker yellow. Position the layer on the right edge of the original and group them. Then use a texture effect to blend the noodle's highlights and shadows. We'll finish this up in part two. Stay tuned.